I want you guys to like go like this. You know what? It just makes me feel better. Exploding your stupid glowy faces just makes me feel just a little bit better about myself. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. Yo, can call me Ja Woodle. And welcome back once again to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17, where we are back in hardcore survival, back in the safety of one of the best bases I have ever made. I love this place. I just feel nice and safe and secure, which I've talked about before, which is why I often almost get myself killed. But I don't take the threat seriously because I have the awesome killing corridor out the front, just destroying any horde that does decide to show up. So, since I saw you last, I have spent the night murdering as many Screamer Hordes as I possibly could. And I almost got three whole levels out of it. I didn't even loot all, all the loot that I got dropped. Ooh, someone's been beaten on my pillars. That's not alright. You can't be doing that, you ungrateful fox. I'm out here trying to make my life the best it possibly can be. I mean, I'm, I'm using yours to do that. But you've got to show my house a bit of respect. You know, I'm inviting you over by lighting all the torches. It's like Halloween, you know? Like, the, the light on my front porch is on, inviting you in. And you're just showing up and breaking shit. What kind of house guest are you bastards? But anyway, I am back in Hardcore Survival because I am tantalizingly close to getting my gyrocopter. I'm very, very close to it. I can almost sniff the petrol fumes high at 10,000 feet. In my vehicle parts box, I have five wheels, two lots of gyrocopter accessories, an engine, and a battery. Which, if you go to here, and you type, if I click on the thing, right, and type in gyrocopter, you will see that all I'm missing is the gyrocopter chassis. It's not too far away, and I could even make one if I had the level. However, I can't make one because I need to be level 120. I'm only level 102. I'm, not, I'm still a fair way away. And even if I bought the, par, the, the perk for 4x4 trucks, I can't use a magazine just to craft my gyrocopters. I went and tested it. If you use the magazine, you have to be an applicable level to be able to actually unlock the next stage. So the only hope I have of getting my gyrocopter goodness going is finding one out in the big wide scary world and i've been around a whole bunch of places but i reckon it's time to head back north head back to the trader see if maybe he will sell me one who knows how lucky i might get up there sell a bunch of this shit to him as well don't need the fact to throw that one away throw sell all that kind of stuff to him and then maybe hit up the uh the wasteland town up here it's a reasonably big town that i haven't really been to at all so i reckon there's probably gonna be some pretty good loot all the way up north so let's Let's go fucking raiding. This is always the worst moment. Just waiting the couple of hours after you show up, outside in the cold, hoping Yetis don't show up, waiting for old matey Potato to roll out of his bed, cruise on over, and open up the doors. Just let me in, you sausage. Come on. Now. Now. There we go. Jesus Christ. It just takes so long, and I just can't be asked with your nonsense. All right. What up? Trader no, Jeffrey, no, no. uh, inventory. Let's sell all of the gold nugs. Let's sell all of the silver nugs. Oh, that's fine. Let's sell. There we go. And sell all of these. All right. What have you got for? I've got 10 grand. Do you have any juro? No, you don't have any juro. Mmm. Oh, reflex sight though. That's actually kind of tempting. I don't have a sight on my pistol and I kind of want one. You know what? Fuck it. Let's live large. Let's buy myself a reflex sight. Why not? So the first trader dude didn't have anything and neither does the second trader dude. So that was just a complete waste of all of my time then. Modify you. Let's go. I mean, the full auto does absolutely tits all for me. So I'll put the sight on it instead. Hey, trader X, you want a full auto mod that does fuck all? There you go. Look, you can have that. Enjoy yourself with that bad boy. Go bu uh, bust it onto something you don't like because you're not going to like it anymore with that pissing around on it either. Anyway. The traders let me down, so I'm heading off to this town just over here. I can already see a nice little military base, which I can raid very, very quickly. The nice, easy one that I can roll into, uh, raid that gun store box, and then roll out of again. However, we are at a reasonably late game stage. We're a very high level, and... Oh, I've already been here, even. And uh, we're, we're looking at, like, day 45. So we're fighting rads. We're fighting dickbags. It's all just a bad time if you're not really prepared for it. So I'm going to see if maybe some of these waterworks down here haven't been looted yet, which I think I might have already been to. Yep, been there. Let's check this one. And then just keep, like, creeping on into town and see if there's anything worth our time anywhere, like this one. Haven't been to this one before. Let's raid this one. Who have we got to fight this time? There's a fat bastard up there. In fact, that's a cop all the way up there. Uh, I can't see any glowing green. So here's the thing. 
I want to kill this guy because I want to try and loot this place without being noticed. People keep telling me that I can do it. I've tried it before and I can't break into the reinforced chest without making enough noise to wake everyone up. But I reckon maybe I can just... I'm not going to go with the uh, with the sledgehammer because they seem to wake up whenever I swing that thing. So maybe I'll just go like this. Kill you nice and silently. No one heard me. We're okay. And then go all the way back down here as far as I possibly can and still make contact with it, which I think is there. No, not quite. Try it again. There we go. All right, so far so good. We're really like we've been surgical with this. We're trying not to wake anyone up. I just want to get in and get out without anyone knowing I'm here. It's all going to come down to that bloody, that reinfor that iron chest though. You watch. I hit that one. All right, if I can get as far back as possible and hit this thing without anyone noticing, I'll be happy. Oh, please don't. Oh, it got loud. It went up to 61. Maybe I have to wait until the noise level goes down again. If I keep doing it like this, where it only goes to 61 max, I might be able to do it. Oh, that got a bit high. Oh, let's, let's, let's get reckless. Let's get reckless with it. Let's beat away into the box. We're getting real loud, but no one seems to be noticing. Thank God, you can do it. Every other time I've tried, it hasn't gone well for me at all. But turns out, you definitely can. Although, I only need a little bit more experience to get another level up. Uh, oh, actually, what am I doing? I need to put some points into freaking Lucky Looter before I do that. Let's go here. Uh, Lucky Looter. Oh, I forgot to spend my points. Spent all that time getting my points, and I forgot to freaking do it. Where is it? Uh, here, here, here. Lucky Looter. Boom. And can't buy the last one. Perception level 7. Can't even afford to put my perception up enough to buy the max level of Lucky Looter. But that's okay. The four levels should hopefully be enough to get something. Speaking of, there is the next level. So let's just put it straight in. Boom. Uh, perception level 7. Next points go on to max level Lucky Looter. And it will be a glorious day. Oh, imagine if I found a gyrocopter parts right there. That would have been awesome. Given that this joint is the wasteland and I want to spend as little time out here as possible because there's landmines freaking everywhere. I'm sitting on top of this ridge. Trying to scope out my surroundings to see if there's anything around that catches my eye. I, I, I've been through enough POIs now that I think I should be able to recognize them from a distance. It looks like there's some waterworks and a military base and stuff over here. So I'll go this way first. But yeah, I just want to like actually come up with a plan of action. Rather than just driving willy-nilly into anything I can find, I want to like, come up with like, you know, an idea of where I'm supposed to be going so I don't accidentally get myself trapped in the middle of the night again. Uh, no, you haven't been in this one. I feel like I've been here before, though. This looks familiar. But the fences are all intact. Maybe I haven't been in this one. Let's break our way in and see what we can find. Oh, oh, the science pistol is so freaking good. I mean, I woke up that dude, but he was about the closest to me. It's not a silenced pistol, it's a suppressed pistol. But even so, it romper stomped old Matty Potato in here. That was a good time. And I got all the bullets back. I spent four bullets to kill. I got four bullets back. In fact, I spent three and got four. So positive bullets from going on a murder and spree. I am okay with that. Any more Jeffries in here I can silently take out? Boop, just like that. Anyone else? No, it's all, it's all quiet. I'm okay. You know, the less, uh, less panic moments I have, I feel like the longer I'm gonna live. Wasn't really much at all in the military base. Raided everything, raided the gun safe, and got nothing of real value. So we move on to the next joint. There's a Yeti out and about out here, and another waterworks I haven't been into yet. The silence pistol may well... <laughs> <laughs> it may well be my new favorite gun. I mean, like the, the oh shit shotgun will always be the quintessential Jawoodle gun. That will always be my baby boy. But like, to go like raiding and looting, how could you not take the silence pistol? It's one shot killing a bunch of Jeffreys out here with like no risks to me. And if someone does sneak up on me and catch me by surprise, then I can pepper with it and like knock them back enough to actually stand a chance. It's like everything that's good about the bow and a, 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 a gun, a firearm, all like rolled into one. And how can you be upset when you're getting a good time like that? That's a spider zombie. I think I can one hit you with the bow. The only bad times are times like this, where you've got lots of zombies in the room, so you have to be as quiet as possible. We good? I think we're good. Okay, good. There's a lot of zombies in here I don't want to pick a fight with. What do you got for me, hardened chest? Uh, scrap that, scrap that. Some more ammo. Take all those. Scrap those and take the shells. It's always just like, it's always a disappointment when you go through all that effort to break into a hardened chest or a freaking working disc box and get freaking nothing. Come on, car parts box. Make it better for me. 
Nothing. What a waste of time. I, like, waterworks have always been so... That was even less of a waste of my time. Even more of a waste of my time, even if I used the words correctly. Waterworks has used to be my bread and butter. You could get so much good stuff out of a waterworks for very little effort. And now, it's just not rewarding me anymore. I'm going through the same amount of effort I was before. In fact, no, I'm going through less. I'm not killing the zombies guarding it. Maybe the game knows. Maybe it's like, uh, uh, uh. It's like the fat guy in Jurassic Park before I got, like, eaten by a Dilophosaur. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. You can have the nice loot because you didn't kill all the zombies first. And to that, I say a big old hearty, get stuffed M99. They're not even guarding these places anymore. They know how much of an unstoppable force I am, so they're not even bothering to post any guards around the loot. Another repair kit and some more ammo. Not particularly great, but I will... Ooh, Iron Desk has something in it. You got something good? Shades? I'm all wearing right now. I'm already wearing shades, so I'll scrap those ones. Oh, do I want to scrap them or sell them? I already scrapped them. Alright, never mind. Yes, jeez. I guess I got a pair of sunnies. Slapping a pair of sunnies in half really wouldn't take that long, but I maybe could have sold those uh, when I go back to the traders at some point. I'm a way into the safe. No one's coming for me. It's just too easy at this point. It's just like a looting smorgasbord if it had nothing but slightly moldy shrimp and three-day-old spaghetti. I'm here. I can have as much as I want, but I don't think I actually want what you've got on offer. More cash, more rubbish ammo. Ah, oh, fine game. You're just, uh, just, you know, I've been saying for so long what I actually want, and you're really just like dangling it in front of me and telling me it's not going to happen. All I want is my Jewel of Purple. All I want is my Gyrocopter, and instead you're giving me donuts. But not even good donuts, just like imaginary donuts. I mean, I don't go to my thighs, but I also don't get to binge them. This reminds me of the good old days down south, when there was just like nothing but waterworks as military bases as far as the eye could see. In fact, I guess this is the same world. I mean, down in... Down in the desert area, there's just waterworks all over the freaking place. So I guess, why wouldn't it be the same up in the frozen north? Let's go down here, keep on going in our raids. I mean, the, the rate that I'm looting car parts boxes, at some point, surely, eventually, I might get lucky and I might find some gyrocopter chassis. But I don't think so. I'm, a, I'm not a lucky man in this game. I'm not going to count my blessings until I have it in my hand. I'll take that arrow back, thank you very much. But at least now I know I can come in and raid this place as easy as I like without having to break shit down. The people in the comments are going to be so happy. Nothing in the car parts box. What about the hardened chest? That's that's even worse, actually. That's that's awful. Awful, awful loop. Whatever, we're going to run away. They can all wake up now. I don't particularly care because I'm going to jump on my two-seater speedmobile and just like go like 50 feet just down the road, just down to the next tree. That's the thing. You've know, you got you to have a system. You've got to know what you're doing when you show up to a brand new POI. Just go like that. And go down, slide your way down the ladder, go back into crouch mode, open the door, and not three seconds after looting the last one, you've got a whole other stash of loot there ready to go. And no stupid zombie here for me to kill before I do anything. There is a radiator down there, though. So let's be on our guard, because if we don't, if we, if we want to fuck this up, that's a good way to do it. It's like, oh, I can just come in and make a bunch of noise. Well, rads are more perceptive than everyone else, and they will hear me if I give them half a chance. Always loot the lab equipment box, because it always lets you down. Once again, another letdown. No surprises there. Nail gun. Nah, I can't be bothered with that. Uh, nothing there. Shotgun shells. Arrows. I mean, just a bunch of ammo still. Where, whatever happened to the days? Oh, damn it. I got excited for a second. And bicycle chassis and another wheel. I've got enough wheels now to make a freaking tank. But whatever happened to the days of looting hardened chests would give you, like, dyes and shit and mods all the time. I upped my lucky looter and somehow got more unlucky in looting. How does that work? Easy does it. Okay, we're going back into the wasteland, which always makes me nervous. I'm going to try and stick to the roads. Because I'm pretty sure if you're on the roads, then there won't be landmines in front of you. My eyes are peeled right now for anything blue that may be in front of me. I don't really want to loot an entire apartment block, but this is where the road ends. Oh, spin around. Spin around back to the road. We're going to go the other way. I refuse to go off-roading in the wasteland. Because I guarantee you, given how lucky I've already been in this episode, I guarantee you I'll go off-road for like three seconds and just happen to hit the one hubcap mine in a 50 meter radius and I'll blow myself sky high and then you guys will laugh at me but I might just cry myself to sleep for the next week straight. There's got to be more. There's got to be more out here somewhere. Let's head back into like the main kind of town area. I've gone a long way west. Let's head back over this way and just, I just like a, like a pawn shop or like a passing gas or just something. You know, give me something to enjoy. Oh, oh, you see what I mean? I went off road for two seconds just to get back to the road and I almost hit a fucking let. That's it. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Going back that way. Thank God that was a blue one or I probably would have hit it. Oh my God. I My whole body just clenched. 
I am going to need a whole lot of prune juice because there's no way I'm getting solids out of me now. Oh, that's a good spot. I've never actually seen a passing gas in the wasteland before. I was hoping there would be one. Turns out there is one. Oh, that's a very, very good time. Happy with that one. There's usually some dogs in this back area here. Let's check for some mines. Oh, that's a bird's nest. That's okay. Is there anyone in there? Anyone at all? There's a puppy. Boop, just like... <laughs> How could you ever not find that funny? A dog backflipping, just yeeting the fuck out of that pen and flipping backwards over a fence. Oh, it's, every it's everything I love about this game. I love ragdoll physics. It's my favorite thing. That's a cop. Can I kill you, please, before you explode? Yes, I can. The science pistol does it all. You can't stop the old lead slinging machine. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you, ma'am. I will not go that way. I was going to go in and just kill a couple of zombies just for the extra XP goodness. But uh, now that I've seen that there is a glowy fuckwit in there, I don't really uh, particularly feel like doing that. So instead, we're going to take the smarter, safer, roofier way. So let's go up here and break open you. What have you got for me? <sighs> Two bits of leather. Two bits of leather. That's it. That's all you're going to give me. And I think, from memory, it's about here, I think. No, I was a bit too far along. Maybe about here instead. They're all getting very antsy down there. That's fine to me. There it is. Pass the gas seal shipping crate. Give me gyro chassis. Another wheel. How, I, how am I getting worse stuff now than when I had no points in Lucky Luna? How does that make any sense? Jump across there. Back over to my bike. Okay, well, that was fun and all, but you gave me dick. It's getting a bit late. I need to start thinking about heading home. There's something blue on top of that roof. Oh, wait. Is this one I was at before? No, that's, that's okay. I feel, there's another one. I mean, I'm okay with that. You can throw as many passing gases at me as you damn well please. I always appreciate some good passing gas goodness. Don't appreciate some flappy fucks though. Get stuffed, you stupid decomposing pelican. All right, let's uh, sort this one out. Let's maybe make some dogs do some more backflips. Check for landmines. We've seen. Hold! Oh! Oh! Just. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I panicked. That scared the ball sacks out of me. That screech made my blood curdle. And then the reflex shot managed to get him before he gouged out both my freaking eyes. Oh, I'm pretty proud of myself for making the shot land. But holy shit, that was not a good time for anybody involved. Oh, and there's a fucking rat out the back too. Oh, that's 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 a big bag of dicks. That's an absolute big bag of dicks. When I say give me a home with lots of plum trees and a veranda out the back, I said veranda, not dick bag. I'm just gonna do what I do best and just sneak my way in because they're all downstairs, which means they can't get up to me. The only thing that me up here is a vulture that gave me nothing. God damn it! It's got surely. Surely, I mean, you've got to give me something at some point. You can't just be dragging my nutsack around this big pile of broken glass. How many fucking wheels? How many wheels? Do you remember like way back in the day when I was looking for wheels and I never found any? Well, now I'm not looking for wheels anymore and it's giving me enough wheels to fund the entire of the Volkswagen fleet. Oh, you got to just like go like this. You know what? Just makes me feel better. Exploding your stupid glowy faces just makes me feel just a little bit better about myself. Oh, this one's going to be a whole lot harder. Damn it, there had to be a rad there. There's a cop upstairs too. So I can put the shotgun to the back of this guy's head and probably kill him in one. But I'm going to wake up the entire room. Look, I'm going to get like the nice stealthy loot that I normally get. Or I could try and loot behind his back and probably wake him up and then get punched in the face with his big glowy hands. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to go with the kill and then... It sounds like there's some dogs outside. Fuck it, we're going for the kill and then we can deal with it later. Even though the kill didn't work, and he wore it like an absolute champion. And now all the other rads are coming for me. Close the door. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I always forget to close the doors. And that time I managed to do it right in the nick of time. Uh, I might have to... You know what? It's pretty late in the day. Oh, there's a dog and I'm already bleeding. Okay, let's get some distance. Let's go like to there. And quickly just use this bad boy. And get our pistols out. Come on. Whew. Okay. Right, we all okay now? We all good? Let's get a, uh, just some stealth shots on her from a distance. Lovely dovely. Can you die, please? How are you alive after getting the stealth shot? Does, it, like, does the damage drop off 
Oh, it's another dog over to the left there. Does the damage drop off for a pistol round drop that quickly? Because that's very, very quick. That's that's a, a not a lot of distance for you to go from lots of damage to no damage in a heartbeat. Here we go, KU. More backflipping dogs. Always a good time when they're doing flipper roonies. I said I wasn't going to do it, but there was a car parts box down there. And I bet you that'll be the one that if I didn't go get it, that's where the gyrocopter parts would have been. So I've left for a little bit. I mean, not very long at all. Probably not enough time for these idiots to have like calmed down at all. But I'm going to go downstairs and have a quick look around. And just see what the situation is like. So, just like Kim Possible, what is the sitch? I mean, they're not here. Did I drive far enough away that they all despawned? I mean, the important thing is, old Maida Rooney, who guards it just there, isn't there. So I might have a chance. Let's just check the, the, the car parts box first and foremost. I just want those gyro parts. Come on. Come on, baby. Every time, every time, you're just, you're just not, you're not even robbing my cock anymore. You're not even teasing me with a hand job. Instead of like going up and down, you're just like wiggling it all around. Nothing good out of the box either. I will check the working stiffs, uh, working stiffs box as well, just because I like to. Because you know, look, I got a got a nice uh, repair kit out of that. That's nice and lovely. All right, time to leave. Time out out of the hole. I thought I heard some zombies nearby. <gasps> There's a used car place. Quick, 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 go, 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 go. The sun is going down. Used car places have car parts boxes. This entire day is just me desperately searching everywhere for car parts boxes. Is there a road that's going to lead me around there? Uh, there was. I went the wrong way. Okay, let's do a Yui. Watch out for the landmines. All right, I refuse to drive cross country. I, I did it for two seconds and almost died. I'm not doing it again. Let's do this quick because I don't have a lot of time. Let's wake everyone up. Hello, everyone in there. Knock on the doors. And then go get back on my bike, which is currently half, oh shit, half inside a car. Jump onto that one. Oh, there's lots of vomit coming through just to get those idiots out of there. Hey, puppy. Boop. Oh shit, don't go off the road. Oh no, please don't be in your minds. Of all times, not now. Don't give me your mind now. That would be bad. Did I kill that pup? God, he took four giant metal spikes to the face at like 40 miles an hour, or what's that, uh, in actual speed, like 80 kilometers an hour, and just shook it off. Those puppies be strong, dude. All right, let's go down here. Just check the surroundings, see if it's still coming for me. I mean, well, what was coming for me, there's now considerably less. You guys are fine to explode in the car park. I don't really mind too much. It's just when I go inside, I don't want you to be there anymore. It looks reasonably clear. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Anyone else? Got my uh, silence pistol out just in case. Let's just keep on rolling, keep on moving. No one in there. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Kill you. Did I piss off that? Oh, oh, puppy. Puppy, no. Oh, you pissed off the rad puppy. Come on. You can't be doing that nonsense. The rat is down. I can still hear a zombie in there somewhere. Chainsaw. It's actually not that bad of a, of a loot drop. Is there anyone else through here? I can hear them beating on shit. I just gotta go. I just gotta go quick. Excuse me. Uh, I think it was still reasonably safe. Can I loot that, please? Car parts box. Nothing good. Oh, that's a lot of rads. That's a lot of shit I just don't want to deal with today. So you know what? Instead, I'm just not going to. I'm gonna be the super brave man that I pretend to be, that I say and without ever actually being that brave man, and run over here and get my car parts box. Give me gyro. Oh, you just, you just, start. Oh, you know what, I'm, I'm out of ways to explain how much you're dicking me around here, game. You know what, keep the frames, I'm leaving. Night just set in and I'm in the middle of a snowstorm heading back to my normal base. Oh, I mentioned the snowstorm would have immediately stopped. I mean, that's okay. Why not? Why, why wouldn't you just directly contradict me? You do that every time anyway, game. So, no luck on the gyrocopter chassis, which is pretty upsetting. I mean, that's really the only next thing that I want. I don't want the Jeep at all. I don't care because it's slower than the motorcycle. And I mean, there's a lot of space to store stuff in the motorcycle anyway. So why would I bother making the 4x4? I just, I just don't know. You know, like how many more places can I possibly loot? Or maybe I just need to spend a bunch of time just at the killing corridor back home, just farming Screamer Hordes. I mean, I could probably just get to level 120 in maybe a couple of days. I'm not sure how long it might actually take me to get there, but I don't think it'll take me as long as what I'm thinking just to like grind out those last, what, 17 levels, I think? It's probably about, in fact, can I, can I check? What, it, what is it these days? Let's go here. So I need another 17,000 XP. I'm, I'm about, what, two thirds of the way there. So 17, we'll go, we'll go roughly 20,000 times. So 60,000, I said about 50,000, I was almost right. Oh, it's very purple. I like this. Can this help be how all nights are? A nice, like, purple night? 
I dig it. It's a bit magenta now, but like for a second there, it was very, very rich purple, and I liked it. So yeah, about 50,000 XP per level. Uh, it's what, 13, 17 levels. I suppose round out to 20. So it's like, I need like, oh, I need like a million experience. That's not even the exaggeration. It's back to snowing like dicks is going to too. I need about a million XP. That is quite a lot of experience points. It'll take a few days. But what's my other option? Keep raiding everything I can find until I get lucky with a car parts box? Um, it's pretty clear I'm just not that lucky. It always feels good coming back to this base after a long hard day of like being scared for your life. Open the door. I mean, I could draw, I could just pick up the motorcycle, but it's full of shit, so I don't really want to do that because I, I just, you know, having to sort it all again out later, just not really my cup of tea. Close the doors. Oh, good. Okay, it's 11 o'clock at night. I've got uh, not much loot on me, but a lot of loot inside you that I need to go through and sort out. Look how many, I've just got so many wheels. Go downstairs and put all the car parts, bo uh, car parts into the car parts box. Look how many freaking wheels I have. It's just out of this freaking world. Who needs that many wheels? And the engines and everything. I just, I mean, come on now. You're just, you're just having a laugh at this point. You're just, you're just rubbing salt in some wide, like herpes sores. Not even just normal wounds. This is real insult to injury. But anyway, this game giving me the run around aside, I'm enjoying it. You know, like I've got something to aim for. I'm pushing for a goal. I just have to get there. But I might have to go and do the work to get to that goal for the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.